everyone, it's your girl Chloe Yasmin back in the cut with another video, another video, and I am here with my mama. Hey, how y'all doing? Here with my nephew. Zaire. Yeah, hey. Zaire. Um, so we are getting ready to go into Target. I actually just left Marshalls, so I will show you guys what I got from Marshalls, mm -hmm. but it was, it's been really crazy. First of all, it's really hard to just to find a dang parking spot here. Oh my here. gosh. There's somebody right next to me in their car, they thought I was pointing at them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so listen, it's really hard to find um, a parking spot and just find clothes finding anything right now is so hard because oh of back-to-school goodness. shopping. Everything is sold out. I was just talking to the lady um, in Marshalls and she was saying like her daughter couldn't even get stuff. I'm going to be going into Target today. I'm not doing no back-to-school shopping, but I am going to be going girly ting shopping because you guys have been liking those videos. I don't really upload them that much. Like it's not like a super consistent thing, but I might start doing it like once a month or once every two months. So let's go we like girly teens. Girly teens. I teams. love girly teens. So I'm going to need y'all too to chime in try to find some cute little girly things. Ooh, girl, yes. You see what I'm... Girly things. I don't want you picking up no Spider Man, no Batman, <laughs> none of that. We looking for girly things because it is so important to go out and treat yourself. Realistically, how much I be buying, it's not really realistic. I just try to buy little things, everything, so that you guys can kind of see the variety of things that they have. But realistically, if I wasn't filming and 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 showing you guys and trying to show you guys the new things, I wouldn't be buying all this stuff. With that being said, let me stop rambling. Let's hop right into the store and get to going girly things shopping, baby. Here we go. Okay, so I have made it into Target and I immediately seen this super cute swimsuit. Look how high-waisted and cute this swimsuit is. I love the little polka dots. It's giving me like an old school vibe. Um, like how everything is like shaped and how it's fitted, like how they want it to fit. This is super cute. I love the cinch. I love the dots. Love the color. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up this swimsuit. Um, but I'm not really seeing any clothing. I actually haven't seen any clothing in Targets lately for myself that I would want to wear. Um, I actually should probably grab more of these white t-shirts and then maybe some white tank tops and then call it a day but yeah i have one on today super cute they're really easy if you just want to do like a basic outfit really quickly um so i like the smalls and i also like the mediums oh crap they don't have any v-necks well they do have the mediums, so i can be happy about that because the mediums fit me as well so i'll go ahead and pick up two medium v-neck white t-shirts put the rest of these back oh my gosh for all my girls going back to school i'm telling you these t-shirts will come in handy because you can just match them up with some jeans some leggings some sweatpants whatever and the heck you want to wear them with they really do come in handy and they're only five bucks super cheap and then i have these um little jeans that i get from h&m for like 25 bucks so just like cheap basic outfits always come in handy before i go ahead and head out of the clothing section since i don't really need too much here i'm just picking up these two um tank tops so i was going to go ahead and buy the white ones but i forgot that they're really see-through so i'm just going to go ahead and grab two black tank tops these always come in handy for underneath shirts or underneath um let's say we had a cardigan let's say i had a cardigan and i just needed something simple to be underneath it this would be perfect so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab two of those i have made it to the underclothing section and they actually have really nice underwear these are literally the same exact underwear that i get from victoria's secret like this certain style like their bikini style and i'm kind of obsessed because they're only five dollars which is such a good deal so i went ahead and grabbed these and then i grabbed these because i haven't been looking at all the designs yet but i have those two so far they rarely ever bring out nude patterns or designs in their bralettes and my favorite out of all their bralettes are the lace like kind of like see-through ones that I can only find online and so they have a new one and is it this is it, what is this not so cute this pattern is literally adorable perfect for the summertime even though it's coming to an end what are these these are hipsters I'm looking for the the bikini style I'm pretty sure these are um cotton um I love the seamless ones oh these are cute these are like seamless bikini ones I get these ones from Victoria's Secret as well so I've spoken about drift a lot on my channel but it's like the only detergent that I can use to wash like my underwear and stuff like that because it has no scent and it's for baby so it's very gentle everything else will irritate me and I'm not about that life so I have to go ahead and grab that I got to make sure that I have that um and I know that like buying like laundry stuff isn't just girly things but I have to get it anyway because I'd be running out of laundry stuff so fast because I tend to use a lot of laundry products so i think today i'm gonna go for the blissful breeze just gotta grab another thing of detergent and then a little bit of fabric softener this is definitely the best of the best if you're trying to get your clothes to smell really strong this would definitely be the way to go hands down it's really intense it's very strong and it really does make your clothes smell amazing so definitely suggest that just gotta quickly grab some toothpaste i am now in the body care section and i'm looking in like the razor section and i honestly want to try this i'm not going to use it as a cleanser but they have this gillette venus um like a pubic hair shave gel i have not tried this yet i haven't heard any good or bad things about it so i'll let you guys know my opinion on this product but i'm gonna go ahead and grab that i just bought this deluxe smooth sensitive razor and it's the best razor ever like it's so good it gives you like such a clothed 
close and smooth shave so and I use it with this this smells really nice as well so my favorite deodorant at the moment is this secret powder fresh deodorant but I've noticed that if you keep using the same deodorant keep buying the same bottles over and over again your armpits get adjusted and they it, the deodorant won't, won't work anymore so I'm gonna go ahead and try out this Dove Advanced Care Pearl Finish deodorant and see how I like that see how it works um, and I'll let you guys know how that works they have some new body care products by this brand um, quiet and roar I thought that was super cool but they're already on sale that might be telling me something but it might not be and I actually really enjoy this scent it is lavender and spirulina scent I don't know it smells really nice so I'm gonna grab the body wash it kind of seems liquidy but sometimes liquidy body washes are good I don't want to judge it by how it feels and how it looks um, but they also have these body scrubs so I guess I might as well go ahead and try this out with it and that is all I need from this this body care section y'all I am finally getting me a Keurig I have been wanting a Keurig for so long but like they're so expensive so I'm just gonna grab this this mini one um I got the little filters and I got the k-cup this is mad expensive but I really have been wanting one I'm not a big coffee drinker anymore but I feel like if I buy this I'll get back back into it so I'm gonna head over grab some more things out of the aisle and then I'm gonna go over and see if I can find any good flavors for this Keurig thing I've actually been using this uh soap and glory the scrub of your life and I actually really enjoy it. I never use body scrubs anymore but I had this in my closet the other day and I thought the packaging was so cute so I was like let me just go ahead and finally try it and I used it and I honestly really like it um, but it also says that it can get rid of the bumps on the back of my arms um, I haven't tried it for that yet because it was fragrance so I was like I don't really want to do that um, but I, I'm, I'm gonna start trying it for the back of my arms I've only been using it on my legs and it makes my legs super soft and shiny I use it prior to shaving it and it works really good so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and then lately I have been using the CeraVe Renewing SA cleanser because they finally have it back in stock and I've been been loving this so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that as well gotta stay stocked up one thing i never do is um let time go by and then i have to run out of the product i like to stay stocked up on everything that i love for 849 they have this lip plumper i actually never use lip plumpers i don't really know anything about them but this little packaging is really like drawing drawing me in for some reason and this is super cute so i think i honestly want to try this little lip plumper see what it does we'll have to try this today and see how long it takes for my lips to plump up from it yeah we'll see if it actually works let's see if that actually works do they have any good lip glosses because i'm obsessed with lip gloss i always buy the rihanna kind but it's really pricey so i'm looking for like dupes for the lip gloss since it's so expensive okay so i found some lip glosses they really didn't have much but i found this milani one and then i also found this zaire you gotta be quiet i found this goddess gloss by like El May. i don't know it's cute though right it has like a little bit of like the yellow goldish at the top and then that color at the bottom but always stay stocked up on this i always 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 stay stocked up on this this is the only thing that doesn't irritate me downstairs is the baby dub yes ma'am yes and if you're more like dry and everything try this one out it's unscented and it has colloidal oatmeal and it's really good for eczema prone skin so it's moisturizing and everything um but i love this now i did not grab as much as i thought i was gonna grab but i think this trip could be coming to an end because i still gotta show you all the stuff that i bought at marshall's last thing i'm gonna go ahead and get because i love cargo pants i came to the men's section and i found these super cute pants come on now hanker oh you playing games hold on Gosh, dang. Look how cute these are, you guys. These are literally adorable. You guys already know I'm going to style these so well. They're so cute. I wish I could fit these little Wrangler pants over here, but my waist is so tiny that it would never fit. I'm going to probably have a problem out of these, too, but they're too cute to pass up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those, and we're going to head up out of here. I got to head to Macy's and get some perfume, but I cannot record in there. But I will show y'all what I get and how it smells and everything and how I like it. No. That's not you? That's not you? No. Ugly. What? Wait, that's not very Wait, nice. I think it says. Oh, okay, it does. It, it says Zaire. Yeah. Oh. Where? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this up to the to the to the manager where? of the store. Where? They, have your, they have your picture. This isn't on good. It. They have your picture on here. You should be getting paid for this. That's right. They where? can't just steal your picture. Where does it say Zaire? You can read. It says it right there. Well, you see it? Zaire. It says Zaire right there. No, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, yes it does. <laughs> yes, so we it does. we have to go talk to the manager because they have his picture on here. That actually yep. is bad. Because if somebody ever uses your picture, you can get money. That's right. So we about to get some money, bro. So is that you? Oh. Is that you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. That's my friend Bernard. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bernard. My friend, like I said. Okay, so I know this room is a mess, but I just got back from the pool. I really like this swimsuit. I really enjoyed it. I had my little shorts over it. It's super cute, right? These shorts are adorable. They're from Garage. My whole entire backside is so wet, though. Like, what the heck? But. I just got back from the pool. I couldn't really sit up there for too long because a lot of college students just moved in. Um, and so they're having a party up there. And then my nephew, my nephew was jumping off of like um, the edge of the pool where like most of the kids jump off and everything. Every time we go up there, you know, that's where the kids jump off and that's where he likes to jump off. And so he's jumping off and these girls with their little alcohol want to sit up here and block him off. So my, my nephew was like, 
Like, honey, where do I jump off? He's feeling some type of way. I don't ever want to see my nephew feeling some type of way because y'all trying to bully him out of his jumping spot, okay? And it may be petty, but I don't play by mine. So I'm like, that's okay, you can jump. That's exactly how I said it. She looked at me, I looked at her, she looked away. I said, yup, that's okay, you can go ahead and jump. They knew what they were doing. They got upset because he still jumped and then he splashed them and I think they said something and I think that's why he was acting like that because when he jumped and they were still there, he splashed them. They got upset. I'm like, I don't care. You seen him jumping there. You were here the whole entire time. With that being said, my nephew gonna jump. He gonna enjoy his time. I might be a little bit heated because I just got some news that somebody in my family has been talking about my family to other random people and it always gets back to us. Same person for, how old is this person? I wanna say 26 years old, so I would say 26. 26 years. But let me go ahead and grab all my bags and I'm gonna show you guys my new perfume. My new perfumes. Yeah! Okay, so you guys already know about the laundry products, the Drift, the Gain, and the Downy. Um, you guys also know about the Keurig. I'm saying all this because I didn't bring it in here. Um, anyway, okay, I have a swimsuit on and I'm still hot because we was out there for a minute and it's like really hot. I went to Marshall's first. I'm super excited. So you guys know I have those black Juicy Couture slides. Well, they had a gray pair. They had like a cream pair and they had a, the black pair and the pink pair. They didn't have my size in any of them. I'm usually a size eight in sandals and seven in tennis shoes. They only had the seven in the sandals and it's like they fit, but they barely fit, but I'm gonna wear them. They fit, they fit. Girl, we didn't even go play the game, they fit. So I got these super cute, juicy slides. I was so excited when I seen these. They're really comfortable, I really like them. They're not comfortable if you're gonna be walking um, long distance on hard surfaces because after a while they do start to hurt your soul, like the sole of your foot. I'm pretty sure that's what that's called. But are they not adorable? Like so cute, I love that. And they're so girly, I'm not even girly like that, but these are literally adorable. I just can't believe how cute they are, like what the heck? So Marshalls, come through, come through. We're finding good stuff. Lately I've been finding a lot of good stuff at Marshalls. If you're consistent with my channel, you know I have been and loving these little bags they're so cute and I I've, I've been getting my bags from H&M but girl I found these cute this cute little one from Marshall's is this not adorable like this is cute if I were to wear like an all black outfit I could totally wear this cute little bag with a little gold chain and then they had this oh my gosh is this not cute this headband like I don't know how I'm gonna oh I don't know how I'm gonna wear it oh child I don't know how I'm gonna wear it but it's gonna be cute it's definitely gonna be cute I'll do it the right way I um was going to the dress room today and I was talking to the girl um, and she was like, oh my gosh, blah, 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 I haven't seen you in a minute, like blah, 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 I see you have a son. I'm like, it's not my son, it's my nephew, but girl, yes. And we were talking about our hair, this and this and that. I was like, yes, girl, because us Miss Girls be going through some things. She started cracking up. This lady comes through, she's coming out of the dressing room with her two daughters and they're blocking me off. You know, I don't, I didn't care. I didn't, you know, I'll just, I'll just wait. And so they keep talking, they look back at me, they keep talking and she goes, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna handle that as soon as you move out of her way. I was like, thank you, girl. Anyway, so I end up hearing the mom with her daughter. Her mom, I, look, I really wanted to be like, I like your parenting, even though you did cut me off earlier. I like your parenting. She was like not playing. Her daughter was like, I don't want to go school shopping. She was like, okay, we can do school shopping or we can go ahead and go home. Which one? She was like, school shopping. She was like, okay, because your attitude is going to, it's, it's peeing me off. Like it's really ticking me off. Put the shirt on. Let's get it popping. She didn't say that, that's my thing, but you know. And then I got this super cute like little bee bag. Is this not so cute? My wallet and my phone could fit in here. This is gonna be so adorable when I go to wear this. Yes, ma'am. I just be grabbing pieces nowadays. Like back in the day when I used to go to the store, I used to try to put outfits together. Now I just grab a bunch of pieces and then when I get home, I'll put them all together. Girl, is this not adorable? Oh my gosh, look at this brown coat, this brown jacket I got. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at this. Whoo, child. Oh, I was about to say, oh my gosh. Dang, it tried to get stuck. There's something wrong with the zipper. Don't try it, because I got the email on my receipt. I mean, I got this receipt in my email. <laughs> he picked out, my nephew picked out this little Puma backpack, and he was trying to get the clear backpack, and I want him to get what he wants, but I did kind of explain to him that with the black backpack, it can go with every single outfit. You don't got to worry about nothing. And then with the clear backpack, if you bring something nice to school, and you have to leave it outside of your classroom, somebody could see what you have in there and take it, because they were doing that when I was in school. So, hey, my hair is becoming a flat out mess, but I also bought this. Now, I'm not a big fan of Champion. People have, have played out Champion so bad, it's not even a joke. But I went ahead and picked up this Champion hoodie. Super cute, right? Right, right. The material of this hoodie got me. It's an old school material. You, 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 you like, you hear that? Yes, boy, that's that old school stuff. This is pretty fire, fire with the wire. I might have to pull up and I might have to expire. Wait, no, wait. 
I would be screwed if there was a big old rap contest or whatever, a little freestyle thing. And it was like, hey, Shorty, come on over here. I'd be like, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, Jesus is king. And if you mess with him, I'ma get real mean. You know the Lord be providing all the green so I can pay my bills, live up on a hill one day. My birthday is in May. Okay, yeah. You guys, this is gonna be, you know. I never, ever wear leggings. I seen some cute leggings today. I seen the lady put them on the shelf and for some reason her just putting them on the shelf kind of caught my eye a little bit. And I was just kind of like, maybe I'll, I'll try some leggings, you know? I don't know how, I'm, I told my mom, I don't know how this is gonna play out. Cause y'all know I buy stuff sometimes, don't ever use it, don't ever do anything, give it away, you know, that's, that's just me. So I don't know if these are gonna go to use, but they might, there's that chance. So let's try on all of my leggings. Okay, so here goes the first pair of leggings, super cute, right? I'm trying to cinch back the waist, but the waist is like a little bit loose, but they're cute, right? They're cute, I'm just not a legging girl. I feel like these would totally have to, um grow on me. I actually stopped wearing leggings for a while. Anyway, these leggings are super cute. I might start wearing leggings now. Who knows? Who knows? It looks so weird because I never wear leggings. So this is different. So I bought these Adidas leggings and they're not high-waisted and they're just not cute to me and I spent $25 on them. So I might go ahead and return these. I don't like them so I'm not gonna try them off for you guys. Um, But these are more loose but they are cute. Definitely, definitely more loose but definitely cute. So these are cute. Definitely gonna go ahead and wear these. I think the first pair is my favorite pair, and then these are also really cute. So yeah, I did wish that I do wish that this did come down farther. I also picked up this huge pack of Nautica underwear. 20 bucks for all these little boy short underwear. Super cute. And then I bought these Calvin Klein ones. These look a little big, but they're in a size small. So um, I also bought this sweater that I was so kind of like nervous about because it was $30. And I was just like, bro, I don't know about $30. My mom was like, bro, she didn't say bro. She was just like, get it, get it. And I'm so happy that I did because this is actually really cute. And it's actually not bad with the leggings either, but it's definitely really cute. So cute. I actually really like it. It's definitely adorable. So that's done. I'm done with Marshalls. Ooh, let's try on these cargo pants. Okay, yeah, these are definitely cute. I can definitely, oh my gosh, these are gonna be adorable with like an all white t-shirt. These are gonna be perfect. I love baggy pants. Anyway, my camera just died. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go change out of this swimsuit and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I don't really know how to feel about the leggings yet, but we're working on it. Hey, I love this Hawks hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I also bought these bras from Marshalls. I got these in a size small because I'm not, I'm not a big fan of padded bras. For some reason, I just, the wire and everything, I might end up going back to them because I've noticed that everything I said that I, that I don't like, I end up liking as I get older. You know, I used to judge females when I used to wear the little leggings, you know, trying to be a little judgmental Christian. Uh, you know what? What am I wearing right now? So it's just easy. It's just best not to judge anybody. It's just best not to do all of that. It's best to love. You know, as I get older, I really am learning that love always wins. Every single time I want to be a little, have a little attitude, be a little rude person, trying to judge somebody, it always come back and bite me in the butt. And if it doesn't bite me in the butt, the Lord comes and shows me, listen, you see that over there? So you really shouldn't be judging. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I went ahead and got these bras. <clears throat> I love bralettes. Bralettes are my favorite. Um, and then from Target, you guys kind of already know everything. I picked up this. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to have some questions. Like, I thought you waxed or whatever. So with waxing, there's some pros and cons. First of all, you have to wait till your hair fully grows back to be able to get another wax. And I don't really like doing all of that. You know, I don't really feel like waiting. So for my bikini line and everything, I bought this. Um, I did use it before I went up to the pool. So far, so good. I actually really liked it. It had a lather because it is a cleanser, but I don't think I would trust this on my downstairs area. I just trust my baby dove. My baby dove never fails me. Um, and then I got that bra. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to go ahead and try this out. And then all my cute little underwear. Yes, ma'am. Breathable underwear at that. And then my little white t-shirts, my tank tops, my other pair of underwear. So I ended up getting, yeah, four pair of underwear, this black and white dotted one, the pink one, this little leopard or cheetah. I don't really know the difference. Honestly, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and then this, um, and then the white t-shirt. Man, it feels amazing to be able to just be the heck myself. You know, the other day I was worried about something. Oh, I was at dinner. And I got a Snapchat message and my mom just looked at me. She said, focus on yourself, focus on Jesus and you. Don't worry about what everybody else got going on, what they trying to say to you. Focus on you. This is about you. And my mom was like, and I'm being serious. If I didn't have my mom in my corner, I don't know what the heck I'll be doing. Honestly, look at this cute little yellow bag. I got this from Target. It's gonna be so cute when I go to like, wanna wear like a little yellow outfit. I love these little cheap bags. Girl, yes ma'am. I almost bought a Valentino bag today at, uh. Marshalls and then I was like wait a minute I can get like a hundred fifty 
purses for that low price, $400. Goodbye. Now, I ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses. That'll get you in trouble, okay? I almost bought a, re I almost bought a new car recently. And by the time I added everything up, not that I couldn't afford it. It's just that I ain't really trying to keep up with everybody else. I like to see my numbers go up. Stack your cash and don't worry about what everybody else got going on. Worry about you. Don't compare yourself to everybody else. This and this and that. Yeah, she may have that, but she may be putting her whole life into be able to, being able to afford it, okay? You put Jesus Christ first, it's only up from wherever you're at. You feel what I'm saying? Anyway, got my baby dub, gotta have that. Best feminine wash ever. Got my little filters for my uh, Keurig. And then off camera, I picked up this um, vanilla and cocoa butter uh, deodorant. Cannot wait to go ahead and try that out. Yes, ma'am. Scrub, toothpaste. Let's try the lip plumper. I'm gonna put it on. And then we're gonna continue with our haul and see. Okay. So now we're gonna get into the good stuff. Baby. I have been seeing this alien perfume and I also bought my mom a Versace perfume today and then I gave her a bottle that I never used. I bought this $160 bottle of Donna Karen perfume and I never used it. And my mom was like, I'm gonna get that. And I was like, no mom, I have a, I have that at the house. It's the biggest bottle they carry. It's like a five or six fluid ounce. And I was like, oh, I got it. I never used it. You can have it. She was like, I'm gonna hold you to it. I said, all right, when I pull up to your house, I'm gonna go inside and give you it. And I did. And then she had her little Dylan Blue. I don't think this did anything. Like seriously, it didn't really do anything. I didn't feel them plumping. I didn't see them plump. This is still the same lip gloss that is on my lips from this plumper. It didn't really do much, but it definitely is a nice gloss. It's a very nice gloss. It might have done like a little bit. I just didn't really notice it because it's it ain't doing much. It ain't it ain't worth it. Let me go ahead and show you guys the perfumes that I got. Okay, so I have been really wanting this perfume, this Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Yes, ma'am. I've been really wanting this one. This one is the Eau de Parfum, but it's the one with the cloudy bottle. They have three different um. Coco Mademoiselles, and then they came out with like this um, body mist. But monthly, I take my mom and I to go get perfumes. So she decided upon the Dylan Blue, her second bottle, because she doesn't want to um, scrimp on it. She wants to be able to spray it. And then I gave her my Donna Karen perfume. But here is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. Wait a minute, so I didn't get the cloud one. I got this one. Okay, so I guess I didn't get the cloudy package. The cloudy package kind of looks like this cap, but it's all over here. But I guess I got this one instead. Maybe this was the one that I preferred. Um, it actually wasn't. I did want the other one, but she must have gave me the wrong one. Oh well, it's still gonna smell good. They all smell different, but they all smell alike at the same time. Ooh, this is really nice. Ooh, yes, it has that orange, like neroli, ylang ylang, jasmine, um, musk. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This smells amazing. This is like my dream scent. Like honestly, like if somebody smell like this, baby, you smell expensive and you smell good. It's something about Chanel fragrances that just smell really expensive. And they smell how perfumes should smell. You guys know I'm a very big fan of the Alien by Mugler, by Terry Mugler. That perfume, if you guys are not familiar with it, it's just the purple bottle. It's the Alien bottle by Terry Mugler. Very popular fragrance. Well, they just came out with a new one. And they only had it on the Sephora, web Sephora website and like the Macy's website. I haven't seen it in stores. And people have been raving about this. Like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It has like such a vanilla scent to it. Such a pretty vanilla scent to it, this Alien perfume. And then my perfume specialist, I was talking to her today. She was like, girl, I wore this perfume yesterday. Um, she's, not, she's not a big fan of Alien or Terry McGlear, but she has to promote the stuff. And she was like, this lady was like, oh my gosh, like obsessing, like you smell so good. And she was like, I couldn't even smell myself. So I really was just like, I don't know what she's talking about. I said, that's actually how it is because I am never really able to smell myself unless I'm wearing Chanel. Um, but everybody else can smell me. When I was in the mall the other day and I was wearing my little Versace Crystal Noir, this lady was like, oh my gosh, like you smell so good. And I'm like, like I don't even understand how you can smell it because I can't smell anything, but you get adjusted to it. And then other people are just now smelling you so they can smell it. Here's the bottle. Oh my gosh, she was like, girl, this bottle looks like you. You're gold, like you're literally golden. She's like, look, mommy, look. She always calls my mom, mommy, because it's my mom. She's like, look, mommy, look. This is her, it looks like her, you're gold. She sent me a text message and everything. It was like, please come in, we're having a 15% off sale. I was like, I will be there on this date, this and this net at this time. And I can see that they're all trying to approach me to say, hey, like who's gonna get the first sale? So I go all the way around them and then this lady starts to approach me and I go, oh, there she is. Just because like I didn't wanna have to be rude and be like, no, I'm okay. And then go to somebody else. I just wanted them to know like, this is my girl. Like I always go to her and like me and her seeing each other and we were cracking up, just laughing, having a good time. Like, oh my gosh, you look so cute. With your little Gucci shoes, look at your girl. And then they looking at us like, oh my gosh, they're crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, yay. I feel like this is gonna go with my chemistry so well. Vanilla goes with my chemistry so well. Like every single time I spray it. Ooh, baby, tell me how you love me. Tell me how you love me, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah, yeah. Definitely has like a Tahitian vanilla bean kind of smell. I'm getting 
a smell that I get from Lancome Labies Belle Soleil Crystal that I get hecka compliments on. Whew, I picked the best perfumes. Yes to the freaking ma'am. We got two new perfumes. Girl, you're about to be smelling good. You guys, start treating yourselves. I don't care if you're putting $5 away just to add up to go take like a trip, $50. Just to go treat yourself and get the things that you guys might want or need. I think it's very important to treat yourself because I honestly noticed this. When I first started making money, I would not spend my money. I literally would scrimp so hard. I would wear the same clothes over and over again because I wanted to stack. I wanted to stack. I wanted to stack. I still do stack, but I had to start treating myself. And so I started to do that. And as I started to do that, honestly, I know like things can't buy happiness, but I definitely started to look around and I started to be like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like if you're not treating yourself and buying yourself stuff, how can you look around and enjoy what you worked for and stuff like that? Like, Honestly, and when I look at certain family members that would not spend their money, they only stack and they're not really seeing, they don't get to see or enjoy their life and what's around them and, you know, get to try new clothes, get to try new new stuff to make themselves feel a little better. They don't get to experience that and I see how unhappy they are and I know with their career path and with everything, they're straight. They're financially, seriously stable. They just don't want to spend it and they're miserable and I honestly feel like it's because they're not living their life. They're so worried about holding on to money. They're putting their faith in their money. My mom's aunt actually passed away and she had brand new perfumes in the boxes, brand new outfits. I'm talking expensive, top of the line stuff. She laid in her bed before she passed away and cried and cried and cried because she was not going to be able to experience or wear or smell like any of those things that she bought. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hit about here. God bless you all in the mighty power for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and it's time for you to go ahead and hit about here.